Hey everybody, it's your host, Cyber Gaming Studios. Welcome back to the channel. We have an exciting video for you, for you guys because this has been the most requested video. You guys have been waiting for a very long, long time. Now, I am a, unfortunately, I can't show you any on-screen um, you know, visuals or anything like that on this video right now because this video is just to show you an example and I'm going to be using my PlayStation Vita to show you that it basically, they, they work the same way. So, it doesn't really matter if you're if this is not mobile or not, but the you know, you get the point of PS4 Remote Play. So pretend this is a phone, and I'm gonna show you how to connect your phone if you have PS4 Remote Play. If you can't, if you're having some connecting issues, and I'm gonna show you guys on how to connect it directly to your PS4 and be able to you know to uh, to use your your controller while um, gaming on your mobile device. So we're gonna actually launch up. PS4 Remote Play right now, and I'm going to show you guys how to actually sync it up, and it'll be easy. I'm sorry if you guys can't see it for, for, um, fully clearly. Um, I do apologize. So we're going to leave that right here, and we're going to go on directly onto our PS4. You can take your controller, make sure it's on um, as well, because for that's some other reason this because it's disconnected. Um, what you need to go down is to go into settings of your PS4. Oh, not the power. Let's, uh, okay, let's get the chair. All right, so once you're in here, once you're in settings, you need to go down all the way down to to uh, remote play connection settings. You need to make sure that this check mark is enabled. What this does is basically enables the Wi-Fi on the PS4 so you can connect it directly instead of internet. You can do the same thing as internet, but it's more efficient doing this way. Um, and now you're gonna add the device. It's gonna give you a probably an eight digit code that you can enter on your screen. So you need to go onto your phone and click PS4 Remote Play and it's gonna search and search nearby and Oh, we got it. <laughs> I gotta I gotta change the PS4 system because it's a different thing. Okay. Alright. So now it's going to please wait and it's going to ask you for to, to put in the code that the PS4 is asking you. We're going to put the code in. Let me just do it now. Forty-five and five five six six. All right, now it's connecting, and you're gonna see a please. Wait. You should see a please wait when you're connecting. Once it's completed, it's gonna bring you to this screen back again, and you're gonna see on the application they're both the same thing, so it wouldn't really matter uh, uh, the differences. But this is an older version of it, and here we can use our actually PS Vita for as, con as a controller as a controller. But you you're here to specifically how to turn your controller into into your uh, you know actual control secondary controller so let's talk about this so I know I can't actually do anything if I actually I think if I just go here if I just press this yeah so okay so here it is so you can actually can do um, hopefully this works because it doesn't disconnect me but once you actually do do uh, manage to you know get this working and you're in as well as in the menu with the your mobile device that you have PS4 Remote Play connected to, what you need to do is you need to put onto your controller and press the PS button. The PS button will be off, the, the PlayStation controller will be off because you're already using the the Remote Play device you're using to play um, on PS4 Remote Play. Just click and enable it. It will turn red, so this is normal. It can turn like orange red. And make sure that you need to have a second person on the account. I recommend you to, ha you don't have to have PlayStation Plus for that player, but you do need to have a PSN account with them so they can be able to use it and to be able to as well go in it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click it. It's going to, what it's going to do is going to take you to, to this screen, which is going to take you to the account, such as when you go in here, here, I'll show you, such as, for example, when that controller There we go, on. For the controller, I can't really use the controller right now because this is the PS Vita. But you can do the same thing on, you can do it normally and it would work regardless. I know it says Cyber Game Studios for me, but on here, I have it, I, I, can, I can just put it up like this. 
see there you go I, I was working now. I was just being a little bit buggy okay so I can controlling my ps4 controller with this and that's how I basically you do it just, just ensure all you need to do is that once you go into the second profile and it loads up and you'll see you may not see it on this screen but you may see it on the, your TV screen just press the PS button again it will take you back don't log out the don't log out of the second account you need to keep the second account online and you know logged in and when you do that all you need to do is just all you need to do is just press back to what you want in the account and you can control you can control it but I recommend you do it, doing it in a way so how do you get it done without having to physically going to the second person and controlling their profile but you want to control your profile the thing is here's how it works you need to log in with your on on your on your PlayStation Remote Play application, you need to ensure that you log in into the second account. Meaning that you have to, on the PlayStation app and as well the PS4 Remote Play APK, you will need to, to log in as the secondary account. This way, it tells you, okay, instead of switching it to the secondary as a, as, a, as a playable account, you're basically telling the PS4 and the PS4 Remote Play that, hey, I don't want to play on the secondary account. I want to play on my main account, and you'll be able to do that. So just make sure you register with, with register PS4 Remote Play with the secondary account so you can be able to switch with your PS button back to your main account and you'll be able to use your controller without no issues and without no problems. This is pretty much not the simplified guide that I have ever made and I will revise this in the future so this is not the first video that you will see but I hope this actually guys were understanding of this how difficult this was. And it can be very simple if you understand the, and follow the directions of this video but if you guys are waiting for another video I'll be having another video up in upcoming days and hopefully that that video will be more simplified than what this it was originally and I hope and I very apologize if the, if any means necessary if I confuse you and yeah don't worry guys if you're confused then you guys can definitely ask me in the comments below and I will guide you as best as I can I cannot answer everybody so once I want you can but you can see the comments that I replied on one of the comments and if if not then you basically just keep keep contact me but don't harass me don't just come and come and come at the same question but you can contact me via support at ps4 remote play .com, and you could just go down to the navigation and click feedback and give me your input and your support i will email you back letting you know that we have your support and assisting you through the process of getting this set up Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next video. I know this video was very raw. I didn't really want to edit this. Um, I'm doing something on my computer right now so that I couldn't edit this. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you guys don't miss a thing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.